Welcome everybody as we come together this Friday in Lent as we have had of course had to have a break from our Stations of the Cross here in Whanganui uh, last Friday we decided to offer the Stations of the Cross online uh, this Friday and next Friday as we come together we are very mindful of that which we need to pray for and as our country is in the second day of lockdown to try and eradicate COVID-19 we ourselves should pray earnestly uh, for our country and for the rest of the world who, is, who are battling uh, with this virus. And of course, uh, none of us really know uh, what time frame is sort of a connected to us returning to normal. And so this really calls us to place our trust in God as very much the one who is going to see us through this. And so these Stations of the Cross that we're going to pray today are Stations of the Cross that give the perspective of our Blessed Mother. And as we go through the 14 stations, it's good also to add our own intentions and reflections on the way in which Christ carried his cross and how that relates to us. So if you're after the prayers to follow along, they have been uploaded by Father Nathaniel, very kind, thank you Father, uh, to our Facebook page and you can download them there as a PDF. If you can't, just join with us as best you can. It's wonderful to have you with us for this journey that we now make with our Blessed Mother as she walks this path of the last few hours of her son's life as we enter into prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mary, the Mother of Jesus, may that first way of the cross these stations attempt to present that viewpoint. We see through Mary's eyes what Jesus was going through on the way to Calvary. Then we try to make practical applications to our lives. We try to go deeper and deeper into the sufferings of Christ so that we may come out the spiritual journey with an appreciation of what Christ did for us and a deeper love for him and for our brothers and sisters. The first station, Jesus is condemned to die. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. We pray together. It was early Friday morning when I saw my son. That was the first glimpse I had of him since they took him away. His bruised and bleeding skin sent a sword of pain deep into my heart and tears down my cheeks. Then Pilate, from his chair of judgment, asked the crowd why they wanted my son executed. All around me they shouted, Crucify him! I wanted to plead with them to stop, but I knew this had to be, so I stood by and cried silently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not bring us to the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my woman, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. At the cross a station keeping, stood the mournful mother weeping, where he hung the dying Lord. The second station. Jesus takes his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of the holy cross, you have redeemed the world. We pray. Regaining a little strength, I walked with the crowds to the entrance of the square. A door flew open, and my son stumbled out, the guards laughing behind him. Two men dragged over a heavy wooden cross and dropped it on his shoulders. Then they shoved him down a rope. 
My pain for him was unbearable. I wanted to take the cross from him and carry it myself, but I knew this had to be, so I walked on silently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not lead us into the temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. For her soul of joy bereaved, filled with anguish deeply grieved, Felt the sharp and piercing sword. The third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We pray. I follow Father, close, close behind, behind my son. As he stumbled towards Calvary, nothing had ever hurt me more than to see him in such pain. I saw the cross digging into his shoulders. My heart dropped when I saw him fall to the face to the ground, the heavy cross landing squarely on his back. For a moment I thought my beloved son was dead. Now my whole body began to tremble. Then the guards kicked him. He rose slowly and began to walk again, yet they still whipped him. I wanted to protect him with my own body, but I knew this had to be, so I walked on and rest silently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Oh, how sad and sorely distressed. Now was she that mother blessed of the so begotten one. The fourth station. Jesus meets his grieving mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We pray. I had managed to break through the crowds and was walking side by side with my son. I called to him through the shouting voices. He stopped. His eyes met, mine full of tears and anguish, his full of pain and confusion. I felt helpless. Then his eyes said to me, Courage, there is a purpose for this. As he stumbled on, I knew he was right. So I followed and prayed silently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. By the cross with you to stay, there with you to weep and pray. Is all I ask of you to give. The fifth station. 
Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We pray. I, I could now, now see almost complete helplessness on the face, face of my son, son as he tried to carry his heavy load. Each step looked as if it would be the last. I felt his every pain in my heart, and I wanted the whole thing to end. Then I noticed some commotion near Jesus. The guards had called the protesting man from the crowd. They forced him to pick up the bag about the cross to help lighten in my son's load. He asked the guards why this had to be. I knew, and so followed silently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Who on Christ did not gazing, is by anguish so amazing, born of woman would not weep. The sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We pray, as I continued close to Jesus, a woman pushed past the guards, broke her veil and began to wipe my son's sweating, bloody face. The guards immediately pulled her back. Her face seemed to say, why are you doing this to him? I knew, so I walked on in faith, silently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Who on Christ in other thinking, such a cup of sorrow drinking, would not share his sorrows deep. The seventh station. Jesus calls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We pray. Again Give my son fell, fell, and again and my grief was overwhelming. At the thought that he might die, die I started to move toward him, him, but the soldiers prevented me. He rose and stumbled ahead slowly, seeing my son fall, get up again and continue on, was bitter anguish to me. But since I knew this had to be, I walked on silently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen.
for his people sins chastises, she beholds her son despises, scourged and crowned with horns entwined. The eighth station. Jesus speaks to the women. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We pray. I was walking a few steps, steps behind, behind Jesus, Jesus when I saw him, him stop. So Some women were there crying, crying for him and pitying him. He told them not to shed tears for him. They had the opportunity to accept him as the Messiah. Like many others, they rejected him instead. He told them to shed tears for themselves, tears that would bring their conversion. They did not see the connection between that and his walk to death. I did as he walked on. I followed silently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginnings, now and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. For him then from judgment taken, and in death my all forsaken, till his spirit he resigned. The ninth station. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We pray. This fall was agony to me. Not only had he fallen on the rocky ground again, but now he was almost to the top of the hill of crucifixion. The soldiers screamed at him and abused him, almost dragging him the last few steps. My heart pounded as I imagined what they would do to him next. But I knew this had to be, so I climbed the hill behind him silently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Word without end. Amen. O oh, good Jesus, let me borrow something of thy mother's sorrow. Out of love, redeem our kind. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. With my son finally Free. relieved of the weight Free. of the cross, I thought, thought he would have a chance to rest. But the guards, the guards immediately started, started to rip his clothes off his blood-clotted skin. skin. The sight of my son in such pain was unbearable, yet since I knew this had to be, had to be I stood by it and cried silently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my woman, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Let my heart refresh and obeying, and a pure in love attaining, May with the acceptance find. The eleventh station. Jesus is now to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We pray. As they threw Jesus on the cross, he willingly he allowed, allowed himself to be nailed. As they punctured his name, hands and his and feet, I felt the pain in my heart. Then they lifted out the cross. There he was, my son, whom I loved so much. He in scorn as he had struggled for the last few moments of earthly life. But I knew this had to be, so I stood by and prayed silently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Holy Mother, Kiss me through, in my heart each wound renewed, of my Saviour crucified. The Twelfth Station Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We pray. What greater pain is there for a mother than to see her son die right before her eyes, I who had brought this Saviour into the world and watched him grow, stood helplessly beneath the cross as he lowered his head and died. His earthly anguish was finished, but mine was greater than ever. Yet this had to be, and I had to accept it, so I stood by and I mourned silently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Let me share with you this pain, who for all our sins was slain. Who for me in torments died. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. We pray. The crowd had gone, the noise had stopped. I stood quietly with one of Jesus' friends and looked up at the dead body of our Saviour, my Son. Then two men took the body from the cross and placed it in my arms. A deep sorrow engulfed my being, yet I also felt deep joy. Love had entered cruelly for my Son, but it had also brought life to all of us. I knew this had to be, and I prayed silently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let me mingle tears with you, mourning him who mourned for me, all the days where I may live. The fourteenth and final station, Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We pray. We brought Jesus' body to a tomb, and I arranged it there myself, silently weeping, silently rejoicing. I took one more look at my loving son, and then walked out. They closed the tomb. And before I left, I thought, I knew this had to be, it had to be for you. I would wait in faith silently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now the cross, as Jesus bore it, has become for us to share it. Symbol of a victory. Mary stood by her son throughout his passion and, in her faith, experienced the joy of his resurrection. As he walked with her Jesus, last steps, let us feel with her the sort of sorrow, the confusion, the feelings of helplessness. Also, let us share her ever-present faith, which will hopefully bring us to a personal experience of redemption and needed conversion. Mother of God and our Mother, we ask for your help and intercession. In your very words, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say. Pray for us, a Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy to the promises of Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God.